To my channel and if you are new here welcome to my channel y'all today we are coming at you with a super simple recipe i'm going to be making tuna sandwiches and so this is simply by taking some chickpeas and turning it into a tuna sandwich okay so y'all i have my chickpeas in the back i have already uh, taken as many shells off of them as i could I've already rinsed them and cleaned them really well. And then I also have a bowl, which I'm gonna go ahead and transfer my chickpeas into that bowl now. And then I also have some mayo. And this is my favorite. This is the Hellman's Vegan Mayo. I have mustard. It doesn't matter what kind of mustard, y'all, because normally I use either the Publix brand mustard or a great value. Um, of course, we have the main star. This is the um, Iberia uh, Garbanzos. And so this is the chick these this is the brand of chickpeas I'm using. Um, I just simply want to show y'all the can, but I won't be adding that one. So then I'm also using some uh, Himalayan pink salt, lemon pepper, my best friend. <laughs> And I'm also going to use a little bit of onion powder for flavor, and that's just to simply keep the onions out of it. So this is a super uh, kid-friendly meal. You can uh, make this for dinner, for lunch. Uh, your kids can make it if they're old enough and you trust them to do it. If not, this is something that you can use to prepare uh, for the children and then just turn around and have it sit in the fridge with a lid or a plastic covering and they can just go in and scoop it out and make their own sandwiches. So we simply want to start by taking the garbanzo beans, also known as chickpeas, and mashing them. So this is not super, I mean, it's simple, but it's a process, y'all. So you want to just mash it. Another thing you can do, although these are not from a bag, these are out of the can, as I showed you earlier. So they shouldn't be super hard to mash, but you can boil them for about five minutes. And um, like I said, I got most of the shells off. So you can boil them for about five minutes and then you can go in and mash them. You can also add them to a high powered blender and uh, mix them. That's something I probably should have did, but I don't want to let my blender do all the work. So I'm going to go ahead and mash these up really well. I'm going to try to find my mashed potato, my potato masher, and see if I can um, chop these up a lot quicker. Okay, so y'all, yeah, after putting in much work, I have finally mashed up all of the um, chickpeas, and I even used my wooden spatula to try to help out, but y'all, yeah, it's finally done. So anyway, I'm going to go in with lemon pepper. Let me show you what the consistency and texture, I should say not the consistency, but the texture looks like. So there's still some... Maybe like three whole pieces in there, but there's some half pieces and then there's some super small pieces. And that just works well for um, a really nice crunch. Or not crunch, but a nice chew. So that way it's, um, you know, not all mashy, not mushy. So I'm going in with some onion powder after the lemon pepper. And then I'm going to use some pink Himalayan salt just about 
one to two turns. I'm going to use about two tablespoons of mayo. And then I'm going to squirt in a little mustard. And then I'm going to simply stir. And this smells so good. I also have an egg salad sandwich, y'all, um, that I use. I use the chickpeas to make the um, egg salad mixture. Um, I'll link a video of that in the top right corner. I'll link a um, card for you all to see. And there's also Vegan Jesus Egg that Miss Tabitha Brown created. And um, I believe she did. I've, I've seen a few people um, make that, but not the way she made it. So anyway, I have a video of that as well. Y'all, if you're liking the video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Y'all, share the video, like the video, comment down below if you decide to try the recipe. Even if you don't, if this interests you because you're watching, subscribe to the channel, y'all. It's free. Just click the subscribe button. All right? So I've added in the pickles. I don't like relish in... Um, but the kids and I, we would use, like, pickles on our sandwiches. That's when we do, like, a tuna fish, like a tuna salad sandwich when we would eat tuna fish. So um, we're going to go in with some celery that I chopped, I diced, and then, well, I sliced it, and then I cut the slices in half. And I also have some pickles, like I said. So I'm just going to stir that. You can add a little more pepper, a little more salt. We're going to give it a taste. Put a pickle in it. Mm -hmm, Jesus. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, that's really good. Okay, so all you want to do, you can add mayo on your bread if you want, but you're just simply going to spread it out. Add tomato slices. You can also add red onions on top if you want, but it's simply that.